Hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. We are Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Rehomers of stuff. And we have a lot going on. We're very busy. and But we wanted to take you along and show you what we have going on tonight. It is yes. Sunday night. We usually do not do this until Monday. Mm-hmm. But we have a little trip planned. We have a lot of things going on tomorrow, and then we're leaving for a couple days. This video won't come out until after we get back. Yes. But we want to show you the things that sold. We have 24 things as of right now going out from $4.24, I think, is the smallest one, all the way up to $379.99 for the biggest one. You know something I noticed the other what day when I was notice? editing? What? I used to say after every single thing, we'd pull it out and I'd say that sells for $12.99 plus shipping. And on the last quite a few videos, I don't say plus shipping ever. So if you ever wonder, we don't do free shipping. It's plus shipping. <laughs> very, very rarely it's plus shipping. We have the map. We have to talk about the map. Yes. I got in trouble. Yes, you did. Got in, some, got in trouble from someone very dear to me because that person did comment their city on the map. I'll tell you about that. His mom got a, him. We have a lot of spots to update a lot of yes. pins to put in the map so we will do that at the end of the video and we're also going to have a very brief story about facebook marketplace and one of the pitfalls of selling on facebook marketplace i had another issue happen where it just <laughs> makes me just really poo poo facebook marketplace <laughs> so that so that's what we have going on but it's a lot to get in and we want to get shipping done tonight because we're very busy tomorrow so we so, didn't even clean up the room so you're yeah. gonna see it in a big old mess i told her i was gonna clean up the base and she says nope Just leave it like it is go. so here's the situation before i tell you we did get a bunch of boxes from my sister and we got a bunch of boxes from some on the friend like we've gotten a bunch of boxes and so the last time i shipped i used probably a third of them but they're just everywhere mm -hmm. and i plan on using almost all these tonight that are down here so anyway here's the basement it's a train wreck this is all bubble wrap i'll use as much of that as i can we got boxes on the floor here this is real life this is real reselling right yes it is all right are you ready do you have anything else you want to add like and subscribe share with your friends thanks for watching come on comment when you can and if you need christmas presents for your friends look up happy heart treasures on ebay and it'll bring up crocheted items that you might work for gifts yes okay here we go all right go to box 114 we're gonna find a cookbook Okay. All right, 114. We're looking for a cookbook called Forum Feasts. That's not a cookbook, <laughs> but that's him. cute. He's cute. Somebody needs him for Christmas. Here it is. There it is. Forum Feasts right there. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. And that sold for $14.99, and it's going to Connecticut. Nice. And that is from 1976. So, so that sucker has been around almost 50 years. Pretty cool, huh? We have two articles of clothing. I already pulled them, so let's grab those right behind you. Okay. First one is, these were both on 50% off. They've been listed for a long time. This is a Finch and Hatton cardigan, cardigan, and that sold for $12.75, and it's headed to Kentucky. Oh, yeah. And then this one is a, what was that, Red Ape, I think it says? Mm -hmm. oh, Red Ape over here. Yeah, $6.46, heading to Illinois right there. Next up, we need a Lamax Firehouse, lighted firehouse. Which one? Powell Street Firehouse. We touched it. Both of us touched it. While we were looking for it, we both moved it and looked behind it. And we finally found it. Yes. $25, <laughs> and that's going to Arizona right there. Hey. All right, next up, a pair of shoes that you just listed the other day. These come from our bad buy. Yep. It's not so bad. Yeah, it, it's not too bad. Didn't turn out as bad as This we... is the Cole Haan. They're almost like brand new. They, they are might brand, be brand new. new. Um, $42.99 and going to Wisconsin. Nice. All right, next up is an ornament inbox S. S. S for Snoopy. Snoopy. Is it a Snoopy ornament? I might be. <laughs> All right, in there, there should be a Snoopy ornament. That'll be going to Virginia Snoopy. and sold for $14 plus shipping on top. There it is. And there it is. There's Snoopy. Off to Virginia you go. Yes. Box R13 next. 
All right, in here you're looking for a like a garage door seal. This is a personal item. I bought it. I don't remember if it was to help. I think it was to help one of the kids. I don't think it was for us, but bought it, didn't use it, lost the receipt. So to put it on eBay, sold for $11.69, and that's headed to Washington. It's going to be cold up there pretty soon. Yeah, it is. All right, we have another firehouse lighted house. This one is one of the white Department 56 boxes, Ashwick, Ashwick Lane. Ashwick Lane. All right, Ashwick Lane. We had two of these. The other one I shipped last time I shipped, and now we have the other one going out. $30 right there, and it's going to Idaho. I'm not going to say that word again. <laughs> All right, Donna, let's do box 35. You have an owl. 35. Is it the little wooden one? I just listed him. Yes, you're looking for a wooden owl. All these little doodahs I just listed. Is this him? Oh, it is. I got to show him. Are you there? That's pretty cool, actually. And he signed 1977. Very cool. He sold for $24.99 plus shipping, and he's going to Texas. He's beautiful. Box 32. Let's go right behind you <laughs> on the bottom by the floor. This is a box with a whole bunch of fire items in it. A bunch of little ones right there. Which one is it? We're looking for two of the Fireman and Dalmatian Dog Fire Hydrant. All right, we found the correct, correct ones. There's a lot in there. So these two right here, they each sold for $9.99 each. So $19.98 for the two of them. And they're going to Colorado. Box 72. 72. Ooh, this shelf is empty. Yeah, they're all out there ready to be filled. This is something you just listed? I think. Maybe not. This is, we're looking for a Merry Christmas train set. Noah bought this last season, listed it this summer. Oh, there you go. What is that about? It's a choo choo. There you go. It is, it's a light up ceramic train set, and it sold for $24.99, and it is going to Connecticut. Okay, box R. Arg. <laughs> All right, kicking through the boxes. All right, box R, you're looking for Harley Davidson coasters. These I got at a garage sale for $1. All right, right there is the Harley Davidson coasters. Um, they got like glass on top. And those sold for nine, $10.62, and they are going to New York. So, a little nice stack of those. Uh, let's go to box 93. 93. You're looking for a purse. It's an anti-theft travel-on, anti-theft crossbody purse. Huh. You know, we were just on uh, Grams and Pops. Yes. Tonight. And um, so I want you to show them because we were talking about how our inventory. So for the people that came over from Grams and Pops just to see what our inventory looks like, show them the inventory minus the messy floor. Okay. Show this here quick. Okay. Travel on crossbody purse bag. Uh, it's a safety thing. It sold for $24.99 and it is going to Idaho. Nice. So yeah, if you watch the Grams and Pops video they put out, we chatted with them um, on the computer, whatever, they put a video out and it was all about inventory. And so yeah. we're going to show you real quickly our inventory system, even though everything's a mess. So when we first started, we had box A and away we went, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And so then we kept on going and once we got to Z, then we decided, what are we going to do now? Let's go A, A. B, B, C, C. So this one, the lid is sitting over here. So we went on with double letters and we got through this rack right here. And that last one way down there is QQ. And then that's all the inventory we had. And the next batch of boxes we had, we decided we didn't want to keep going with double letters because we're going to run out and then we have triple letters. So we started with one. These are not in order, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we kept going with all the numbers. All these are numbers, these, here's 40s and 50s. Behind this door is 60s, here's 70s, there's 80s, and then 
it goes over there 90s and we go up to 116 right now 117 there's one 117 so then we bought our cousin's buyout and their boxes were labeled we bought their store they we bought their store. store they quit selling to focus on other things um and so we bought their entire store and their boxes were all labeled with letters so what we did because we already had letters we put an l in front of all the letters so we have l a l b l c l d and we have all the way up to l x is that bottom corner so that's the only l's is this here x then we have randy a local reseller he switched to totes so he wanted to uh, see if we wanted his boxes he gave us like 20 boxes or so so he had his numbered with numbers so we made r's in front of it r1 r2 r3 and that goes down to r18 which is right here because if we have one right here it blocks a lot of the light and it's hard to see behind here so anyway it's not perfect and then we have this little closet we have our shoe rack where we keep all our shoes couple bigger pieces of clothing uh, there's boots up there um, golf clubs behind here and back in behind those boxes we have just items that are too big for boxes so if an item is too big for a box we just put on shelf we don't know exactly what shelf it might be those there it might be it might be right here behind us oh you also have this oh this is the media cabinet any dvds vhs there's not much in here right now um, in here is cassettes in here is records albums there's a we have one real reel to left cds and then the bottom one is video games which we don't have any of those left either so on shelf includes this shelf here anything over here goes up on top we have things on top of this rack sometimes it's in between other items if it's just like narrow like that up here there's costumes in there puzzles bigger boxes and then in here this whole rack here is all just listed as shelf the and then in here we have all our clothes because we used to have this upstairs if you've watched this for a long time you know that we all we did all our clothes upstairs and everything our oldest piece is right here it's number 92 and we consolidate it down it's all in order by box like here's 505 here's 637 it goes there goes over here and our last piece right now is back in here and it is number 1041 so that is all of our storage right all of our ebay storage yes okay one more spot down in here if i have books if i list some books i just put them in here so that's all that's all of our inventory i think all of our ebay inventory oh and in the office upstairs we have bookshelves <laughs> and when we had a huge book yeah. and movie buyout we put all the books up there so there's still some left that we haven't sold yet yes quickly we're going to show them the map or we're going to show them that later we're going to show them that later but we can quickly tell them why facebook's marketplace is a pain in the butt oh why is it <laughs> how do you feel steve I don't like selling on Facebook Marketplace because you get so many messages, is this still available? And then they never respond. Or we've had people want to buy stuff and we tell other people, no, somebody's coming to get it and then they just don't show up. And that happens all the time. So I don't sell much on Marketplace. This is a quick story. So I have an item. It's a big item. It's like this big of a box. It's a Play-Doh uh, cart. trolley cart thing like an ice cream cart type thing. And mm -hmm. it has a bunch of plate, a bunch of pieces is brand new. My neighbor got it off clearance a while back and I just don't want to ship it because it's so big, but I might. So we have it listed on Facebook Marketplace for $50. It sells on eBay for like 60-ish. So I have it on there for 50. It's in the storage unit because I don't want to store it here. And so the other day, just a few days ago, this lady reached out to me and she's like, would you take 40? And I'm like, yep, take 40. I don't remember what we gave for it, maybe 15. So I'm just like, great, well, let's do this. And we have it just local pickup only. So I reached out to her and I asked her, well, when would you like to pick up? And she says, I'm in Omaha. She said, do you ever come up here or would you meet halfway or something like that? And normally I would say no, but I was like, well, we'll see. We might be going to Omaha tomorrow morning. We ended up, so she's like, okay, great. You tell me when and where we'll get it all arranged. I'm like, okay, cool. We ended up not going to Omaha. 
So that night when I messaged her and told her, hey, plans change, we're not coming home. She's like, okay, we'll get it figured out. Like, I really want this. And I'm like, okay. Her name is Molly, by the way. That's all I'll say is Molly. The next day in the morning, my sister messaged and she was coming for a dog groom. So my sister lives in Omaha. She brought boxes, a lot of these boxes. And when she was here, I'm like, hey, can you take this up to Omaha and then she'll come pick it up from you. And she's like, yeah, sure, throw it in my car. So we put it in her car and away it went. I messaged first thing in the morning, said, hey, my sister's coming, I'm gonna send it with her. And then I messaged like, once my sister was here, I'm like, um, just let me know. She lives near this area. Let me know when you can pick up or she'll even, my sister was even willing to meet her. And each time I messaged her, a little ball dropped, so she saw it. Later in the day, when my sister left and went back to Omaha, I messaged, I said, hey, um, I said it nicely. I'm like, hey, <laughs> just let me know so she knows like when you can pick this up, you know, so she's not like waiting on trying to find out the arrangements or whatever. And then that night, so like at eight or nine at night, the same night, she messages and she's like, oh, sorry, we decided to get something else for, for our child. We picked it up today. So she goes, uh, I'm gonna pass unless you wanna sell it cheaper. <laughs> I was already come down to $40 and delivering it, taking it to Omaha to her. And then she just bails and says, oh, sorry, we're not gonna do this now. So now that item is in Omaha and I gotta figure out how to get it back to Lincoln. So all I messaged back was, um, okay, I'll guess I'll figure out how to get it back to Lincoln. And she didn't even say, sorry about that. She didn't, nothing, just that was it. And that's why I'm like, I just, I read it and Donna was sitting next to me. I'm like, I hate Facebook marketplace. <laughs> you get this stuff all the time. Anyway, that's why I don't like selling on Facebook marketplace. Perfect example right there. Okay. Got that out of your system. I got that out of my system. <laughs> we have a handful of things, probably 10 more things to show you. Um, next, we are going to go with our big sale from the weekend. Where is that? It is in that other room on the top shelf. Here it comes. Here she comes. This is a vintage, like 1950s or 60s, aluminum Christmas tree, and it has the pom-pom ends. Remember what we had in our classroom at school? Maybe a lot of you had this, but we had it in every single classroom in Arnold Public Schools, and it was an aluminum tree. Yeah, this is six feet tall, 46 branch with pom-pom ends on it. This sold for how much? $379.99. This is a bolo, yo. Yes, and it is going to California. Can you put a picture up so they can see it? Absolutely. Here's a picture of this beautiful tree. <laughs> there you go. We have another one, by the way, in case you need one. Without yeah. the pom-poms, just straight branches. Yeah, uh, it is listed for like two fifty, but we don't know the brand of that one. But yeah, it's on there. Yeah. We're hoping that sells soon, too. Okay, let's get back to it here in box 38. Okay. Okay, box 38. If you watch Grams and Pops... I talked about an ornament that we had three of that we decided to list Ooh. and we just listed underneath other people's prices. One of them sold. It's any of those three boxes. Does it matter which one? Nope. They're all exactly the same. They're all brand new. I'm not going to get it out because You can't it's get so it out because nice. it'll make a mess. Yeah. And it is a little fireman. I'm Can waiting. you see there we it? Go. It is a Kurt Adler Polonaise. Como Zaja, Vire Glass Ornament Santa, whatever that is. It sold for $15 and it is going to Texas. That'll be a nice gift for someone. It's nice. Yes, wrapped, it is. wrapped nice. All right, next up, this will be one of Donna's favorite sales. Okay. Why don't you grab box 110? 110. You know what it is? Cup cozy. Yes, we have one person buy two cup cozies. Number oh, 32. And 31. 31 and 32 right there. I'll just pop pictures up of them. Those are the cup cozies that Donna makes. They come with one of our stickers. You can kind of see them through the plastic. Yeah. Thank you, thank so, you, thank you. This is going to Drew in Washington. So, Drew. Thank you for buying our cup cozies, Drew. Appreciated that very yes. much. Next up is our cheapest sale of the night. It's in box LI. And you'll recognize you can just bring the item. Sold one of these. Yeah, and this is we on have clearance. another one. This is a Southern Illinois University camo visor. 
brand new. This came from the Leslie buyout, and it sold for four dollars and 24 cents and it is going to texas we also bought like three of these at the same sale when we were with chris and amy in arkansas yeah when we went uh, sourcing with them all right next up is in box 67 this is probably gonna be a me item we'll see oh <laughs> it's kind of a heavy box kind of oh. all right yeah we got two uh fire system valves what is this? All right, these are valve, the old school fire systems where you have the lines. These are the sprinkler head is like that... valves. No, that's supposed to be on there. Everything is great. Is it cracked? It pops off, I think, when it goes oh. off. Oh. So two of these sold, they're $45 a piece, so $90 total. And these are going to New York. Right there, them are heavy. Them are one inch lines there. We have several different sizes, so. Um, those come from our friend Larry when he moved to Kansas. He had a bunch. Heavy. Yes. Okay, next up is another viewer buy. I know because we know this person is in box two. Okay, box two. We are looking for cucumber. <laughs> Victoria's Secret. Chill out. Yeah. Chill out with cucumber. Calming clay face and body mask. And that is going right here in Lincoln, Nebraska to a friend and a viewer of the program for $5.00. 52 cents. Janine and Kate. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys. This yep. is going to Janine and Kate. Yes. All right, next up is inbox 15. We're looking for another cookbook. You guys. But that's cute, so cute too. Cute. Yes. <gasps> you guys, you're so cute. <laughs> A cookbook. Yep. It's called Kitchen Clatter Cookbook. From 1978 right there i think this used to be a kitchen clatter used to be a uh, magazine okay that sold for 14 dollars 99 cents and it's going to kansas maybe next time they'll choose you little bear maybe <laughs> let's go to box 42 this is gonna be a fun one for donna also mm -hmm. all right in here you're looking for a bee a uranium mushroom shaped bowl This one is so, so cool. It glows. We'll show it and then we'll show the picture of it glowing. She, for her uranium, she took it outside when it, when it yes. was dark out and did it. And it, the picture is just awesome. This is my one of my first times of having uranium glass yeah. stuff. This came from the Utica buy and there it is in the, in the light. In the and light. so here's a picture of it outside in the dark with a black light. Yeah. Very, very cool. That sold for $30, and it is going to Kansas as well. Cool. So that green glow you see in the sky, that'll be from this. All right, next up, we're going to box R12. Uh, okay, in here, that bag. It's a black bag. Oh, you guys, she needs a home. Yes, she does. She does. She's just living in the box. <gasps> she needs a home, too, she living in the box. What are we looking at? That black bag right there. The black bag. This okay. is a Think Tank digital holster. Expandable Ooh. bag for DSLR cameras. Expandable bag. Yeah, I don't know. It's some kind of really fancy camera Oh, bag. it expands this way. Yes. Okay, got This sold for $24. Came from Iowa and is going to California. Nice. Okay. Here is the next item. It was in box <laughs> LT. It is a Minecraft B. This came from Leslie by also. It's on clearance. It sold for five dollars and it is going to New Jersey. Maybe it will be a Christmas present. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, we have one more thing, but then we just sold something too. So let's do the one we you already knew about in box 86. 86. He is so cute. Look, you guys, he is somebody's well-loved teddy bear. How old is that thing? It says circa 1950s. Look at him. That's pretty cool. And he's got an outfit that comes with him. I don't know if it's original or if it's handmade or what, but that's cute. But look at him. Yep. He sold for $11.47, and he's going to Texas. So cool. All right, we have one more, and it came from the Turtle Buy, and it's in box 29. Is this that? just got bought and paid for, and that's part of the reason that it's heavy. Well, there's a lot in there. This is a cast iron... I see it right underneath that box. Is Cast it? iron rabbit, rabbit bank. Yes. Oh, we'll open that up. You get to hop away. 
<laughs> right there, there's a heavy cast iron rabbit bank that's sold for twenty eight dollars, and it's going to Pennsylvania. Look at him. Pretty cool, right there. How much? Twenty eight dollars. Nice. And that is it. That's everything. Wow. We're gonna get them shipped out tonight. Ooh, look here. I gotta show this off. This is brand new. Somebody needs this for their brand spanking for new. For their right love. There. Yep, her doodle. Stay a sterling 18 inch chain on that. All right, the reason we have, I want to get all this shipping done is because tomorrow, like I said, this video won't come out until later in the week, but tomorrow at 9 a.m., we have an appointment with a lady that we're probably going to be help kind of clean out some stuff yeah. or whatever. And then at noon, we have another appointment with somebody I'm not, we're not really going to talk about. We don't know if it's a, something we want to yeah, talk about I or not, but again. another clean out type situation. And then we're hoping to leave for Kansas in uh, mid early to mid afternoon. So watch out Ruth and Larry. So this is, that's you will why, have seen us by then. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's why we're like trying to get our, all this out tonight, Yes. but we can't end this video without, uh, getting the map updated because there's a yes, lot to update on the map there is and i got in trouble and i'll explain that why but don is going to go double check all the names yes. on the map and i'm going to start shipping and then we'll come back and get her done here i go all right uh i have like eight packages done donna okay. double checked all the map stuff she's got she's ready with her notes we have 32 to put up that includes no yeah the we read this one off and you saw that in a couple of videos ago and they're in here too we didn't get them on the board yet so that includes that okay ready are you ready well, first of all i'm gonna tell you why i got in trouble <laughs> <laughs> i got a phone call a couple of videos ago and it was my mother and she said i have a bone to pick with you she said i commented on your video columbus nebraska and i'm like no you didn't she's like look again and i looked she did she, yeah. so Columbus is our, but we're putting her on the board today. She's part of this list. And somebody else commented, hey, you mentioned my town, but you didn't put a pin in. So we got you too. Everybody's yes. in here. We are all caught up. Here we go. Here's, here's the board. Um, there's a lot of pins, you guys. This is fun. This is amazing. It's a lot of work when we go through and try to find these little towns. But all right, Donna. Okay. Here you go. I got a point to him, right? Yep. Okay. The first one, Kobe Boring, Lincoln, Nebraska. Can we read Kobe's comment? No. No. Okay. Kobe had a, if you're a juvenile Co like me. Kobe is <laughs> one of Steve's friends. He's one of my Co best friends. He's my friend too, but Kobe. He had a, I found it to be hilarious. If you have a juvenile mind frame, then you can go read the comment. It's on the video that's entitled, uh, we got the map, new bigger map or something like that. You can go and look for his, his, uh, his comment. It's, I found it pretty funny, but I'm also a juvenile. Okay. All right, here next. we go. So we're putting him in Lincoln, Nebraska, because that is where he lives. <laughs> okay. L. Roberts, Paulsbo, Washington. And I don't remember which button is you, but anyway, you're in here. <laughs> and Lois from Columbus. That's there his mom. There is mama. my mom. Yep. Chris, Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York, right over there. Yep. Michelle in La Quinta, California. Hers is one of the first channels we watched. Yes. So it's one of those there. Geeky and Girl. And she is Geeky Girl Adventures. And then Miss Paula, M.S. Paula in Rutland, Vermont. Vermont. Over here, right there. And Glenda and Sloan, our other youngest, uh, one of our youngest watchers, is in Columbus. Yep. Midwest Mama Resells in Omaha. Omaha, right there. And Graham's Dogs Antiques in Huntley, Illinois. Illinois. In there somewhere. Somewhere in there. <laughs> Sarah, White Swan, Washington. We just did all this. Yeah. Independence Pickers, Mike and Lisa in right Independence, over, Missouri. Right over there. Doing it wrong, Chesapeake, Virginia. Virginia, Chesapeake, I think. Yeah, that one's over here. Cynthia I Smith. Think. Or it's over here. And Hampstead, here. North Carolina. Hampstead, North Carolina. Somewhere in there. Amy, Beach by Repeat. Yes, she's a friend of ours. Virginia she's in Beach, Virginia. Virginia Beach. Shane, Soda City Flips. Yes, it's Amy and Shane. You say this, Pelion. Right. Pelion. South Carolina. Yes. Did you, did you get him? Amy okay. and Shane will both be attending Planes to Profit in March in Omaha. Yes. So if you want to meet them, come on to Omaha. Okay, Tammy, Sharon, Maine. Sharon, Maine. Right there. Sherry, Plano, Texas. Plano, Texas right there 
Uh, acting a fool for you, Mountains of North Carolina. Mountains of North Carolina. We think that's close. And Whittier, California. Whittier, California. We think that's close. Pam, Mansfield, Arkansas. Arkansas, Mansfield. I think it's the one over here. I don't know. Larry <laughs> and Ruth in Lyons, Kansas. Yes, we'll be going there tomorrow. Rick, Beatrice, Nebraska. Beatrice, yes, yes, Rick. Stephanie, Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Eden Prairie, Minnesota. That one is right there. <laughs> Cora. Cora is our other youngest watcher, one yes. of our youngest watchers in Texarkana, Arkansas. We got Cora and Sloan in the same group today. Hi, Cora. Hi, Sloan. <laughs> okay, Sherry, Locust, North Carolina. Locust, North Carolina. Right there. Connie, Clarion, Iowa. Clarion, Iowa, right up there. Julie, Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock, Texas, over here, all by herself. Tammy Lewis in Kentucky. Kentucky, it's, uh, so we put it in the middle. Kentucky, right there. <laughs> um, Char, Karen, Grand Canyon, Arizona. Grand Canyon, Arizona, there we go. Rebecca Smith, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Winston-Salem, right there. High Five Resale, Derek, we talked about him. Yep, right over that here, one there. Last Springfield, Missouri. Right, right there. Here. Rebecca and John Beaverton, Michigan. Beaverton, Michigan. That was way up here. There. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and that's it. That's all we have for right now. If we miss you, message us. Tell me yeah. again. We will mess this up oh my and let us know. That is 83. We have this is what I got from Michigan. Yes. We have 83 pins on the board. So yes. this is going to be fun. Like if it keeps going like this, we can get a whole bunch of red dots on here. Yes. be awesome. I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yes. All right, that's it. I got to finish shipping. We got things to do, so. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you all for watching. We super appreciate all of you. Yes, we do. And I guess we'll just see you on the next one. That's right. All right, bye. Bye.